Wake up, Ryan. It's time for you to wake up. Come on, sleepyhead. You gotta wake up now. The people who betrayed you are here, and they're close by. You need to go get your revenge now, Ryan. You need to wake up and get your revenge. Don't you think it's about time? I do. I must hurt you. Now wake up! Now I know where I am. Round three, is it? Third time's the charm? Throw me into this world, why don't you? Yet again. Yet again. Yet again, I'm thrown into this world of chaos, this world of unspeakable things. I can't believe it. This world, it threw me here again, a place I thought I'd never go. Thought I was done with this. But anyway, nonetheless, I have to do what I have to do. I need to hunt down the rest of them, and I need to destroy them. Hello there, everyone. What the heck? What the, what the, what? Do I, is it alive? It's a living dirt block. Okay. Uh, not what I was expecting. Totally killing the mood of the series. Anyway, guys, welcome to Area 33, the modded roleplay survival charity thing. Um, so for those of you that do not know how this series works, I'm going to do a little explaining. Most of the time, I'm going to be in character. Mind me, for the first few episodes, I may break that once or twice to get into the storyline. And to explain to you guys that have never seen this series before, because I'm sure there's quite a few of you, exactly what happens in the series so you're not confused and not left out in the cold. So you know what's going on. For those of you who have seen the trailers, maybe you have a little idea. But you may be a little confused, so I'm going to try and help best explain it, you know, to the best of my ability. So, first off, Area 33 is the third season of the Area series. If you want to check out the other two seasons, they're going to be linked in the description below. And, um, basically, we were thrown into this world. Uh, we don't know by whom, but we were thrown into this world. And, uh, in the first season, we had to, uh, battle each other out, um, defeating the evil snake doctor. Season 2 was last season, Area 32, where, uh, my character goes a little bit crazy, you know, uh, because he decides to dabble in the dark arts of magic and blames his craziness and, or, and believes he's not crazy, but believes everyone else is out to kill him and has betrayed him. And so he's made it his goal to kill them. And in season 3, he's still chasing that same goal, but first needs to survive in order to do it. So that is the series, guys. I need to, so this first episode is really not going to be, uh, part of the role play. It kind of is. I'm not not gonna be role playing it like I do in the other episodes. Uh, I'm just gonna be doing a normal survival based starting thing like I normally do. Now, as you guys can clearly see, I got a lot of donations to read off. So, for those of you that don't know, this is a charity series. We do this for charity, guys, and a lot of you guys may not know that, but it's super cool. Uh, we actually do this series in the name of charity. So all of the money we receive actually goes to charity, and the reason we raise money, or the reason we. Uh, incentivize donations is because you know it's for a great cause you can read more about it in the description below and all of that and i'm going to explain to you how what donating does so when you donate to this series there'll be a link for that again description below when you donate you can donate for a specific youtuber who's in this charity series and when you donate you donate items to them so as you can see, I have donations from Rhino Dragon. I have donations from Nextdoor. I have donations from Anonymous, Davis Marks, Silver Sun. I have donations from Anonymous again, Davis Marks, Amanda Williams. Thank you, everybody. Let's see if there's any other ones I'm missing here. Amanda, Rhino, Nextdoor, Nextdoor, and Davis Marks. So again, crazy awesome people have donated so many cool items already. And you guys can donate to your favorite YouTuber who you want to win this series. Uh, there's... Basically, um, it is a storyline series. We've created a storyline, and it is a role play. Uh, at least I'm doing it as a role play, playing as the evil wizard Rai guy, who is back in this world and has to do a fresh restart. So, let us begin, boys and girls. Let us begin at the amazing, at the amazing adventure uh, that will be Area 32 or 33. 33. We're on 33. Uh, so things right off the bat that I need to do. 
Uh, I have a lot of stake and it is unstackable in its current form because it is renamed, donated by whomever. And there's no way, real way to fix that, unfortunately. Uh, but I basically have to start prioritizing my inventory here and getting rid of the stuff I don't need, also known as dirt. But I need dirt to scale mountains. I do not, however, need these tracks, Rhino Dragon. I do apologize for getting rid of those. And I do... Actually, I, wait, wait. I can eat this one apple and save myself an inventory slot. It's just good to have an inventory slot. And then I'll take this crafting bench... Or no, I'll take the chests with me. And we gotta go find a place to live in the first episode. And then in the future, I will be going all roleplay from here on out, guys, for the most part. Unless people have questions that I answer in the video and when reading off donations. The only times I break uh, character, even though I may find a way to uh, reevaluate the character. And for those that don't know, now that Area 33 has started up, my uh, weekly Wednesday live streams are going to be coming back, as well as three times a week live streams. They're going to be three times a week. Uh, two, which I do random stuff. It could be Area 33. It might not be. But Wednesdays will be guaranteed. Wednesdays at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Maybe moving that to 5. I don't know yet. Um, but you can check that out. Twitch linked in the description below. We'll be checking that out. No, not Twitch. Sorry. Beam. I'm switching to Beam. A lot of people are confused. I will not be streaming on Twitch any longer. Not the Area stuff. Everything else will be on Twitch. Um, but for Area stuff, we wanted to do it on Beam because Beam is a cool new site and we wanted to give it a shot. Uh, so I'll be streaming on Beam. So that's going to be totally, totally cool. Uh, but we need to find a location to live live a spot to call my home even if it's only temporary we can make a temporary home and move from there just to get started get materials and get our magic flowing get our evil magic flowing to destroy the rest of the players on the series and yeah um, and so I want the reason this episode really exists guys is to explain the storyline for those, those of you confused because since the last season I've already gained almost 40,000 50,000 subscribers So all of those people who are watching they're gonna have no idea what they're watching unless they had that little preview For those of you that are watching you're probably like duh. We already know what's going on We know what you're gonna do you got to survive get started start the evil magics and then you guys help me um, Do this stuff because during my live stream is when I get majority of my work done It's gonna be totally cool. It's gonna be totally fun and you guys are also gonna have a blast as well There are some new stuff in this I am noticing like the attacking dirt that appeared um, so it is going to be very different and very confusing and I'm praying there is still magic mods otherwise I'm gonna have to rephrase how I destroy them um, and by them I mean snake doctor Tyser Chatch and miles I think I, I think miles is doing it but oh <gasps> yes is that a volcano oh I think it's a volcano if it's a volcano I'm gonna be so happy Volcanoes were removed and then rebrought back recently, so I am praying this is a volcano. If so, I have my home. It's looking like a volcano. Oh, I hope it's a volcano. If so, I am making my home in the volcano. I don't care. That sounds amazing. Dead chickens, that's already a good sign. It is a volcano, a very crappy one, though. You can get some really cool ones that actually look like mountains. This one will do for now, though. This one will do for now. It'll have a lava shaft and stuff. This will do for now for my... Oh, it's a double volcano. Okay, so this is a smaller one, but I'm sure we can find a bigger one. But this will do for a temporary home, and it also works because I believe that's a great wood tree right here. It is indeed a great wood tree, so we can use that to our advantage because a lot of wands and stuff require great wood. So to start, obviously, we need to put down our chests. We're going to stay away from the lava, of course. Uh, we're going to probably stay towards this flat... Actually, um... Mm, let's go ahead and let's let's yeah let's stay down here for right now we'll go ahead and put our chests up against this wall store all our items in this wonderful wonderful chest hopefully no one comes along and goes snagging our items don't think that'll happen though go ahead and store all our items in here perfect and we need to get wood that's like priority one the first episode is always difficult because you're trying to get wood and resources hopefully by the second or third episode uh i'm done getting resources for the most part and i'll be able to just uh do that stuff off camera do that stuff during live streams and then through the live streams i'll have enough resources to do the episodes and keep the episodes really scripted and really fun because you guys seem to like that stuff a lot more i'm also tempted to start doing face cam on these if you'd be interested in me doing face cam on these leave a comment saying hey rag i'd love to see face cam i think it'd be a unique way to uh, grow myself as a personality as well uh, because a lot of you guys don't actually know what I look like which is kind of surprising actually not really surprising be I've only done face cam a few times so uh, I may do that as well may do face cam for these episodes I may even do make a second channel dedicated to stream highlights depending on what happens during the streams I don't know yet I also seem to be breaking this wood a lot faster than I did in previous do you break wood faster for some reason it seems to be breaking much quicker than it used to and I also know it's tree capitators in but that's interesting. So if I had an axe, I believe it cuts down the whole tree in one swing. So I'll be able to get enough wood usually once I build a stone axe. Um, so what I can do is I can cut down that entire greatwood tree, either one of them. Oh, it's nighttime. I've got to be a little careful here. 
Um, but I should be able to cut down the entire great wood tree, and that should easily provide me with enough wood for now. Let's go ahead and turn this into planks. Got to quickly get a basic shelter set up in a second here. Uh, do that. Let's make an axe. We'll also make a pickaxe. There we go. Um, and we'll go ahead and throw... Oh, yeah, whenever you... Uh, there we go. Oopsie daisies. Oh, wooden axes aren't going to work because of world edit. That's good to know. That's good to know. So let's not let's not t dabble with that. Let's not dabble with the wooden axe. For now, we just need to go get some cobblestone and make a stone axe. Then I'll be good with that. So let's head over to the mountain so we can get the cobblestone. We just need three to make an axe. And then we can cut down entire trees in one cut, I believe, as long as tree capitator works the same as I remember it to. That should be the case. We'll just grab three cobblestone here. And then we got to start working on building up the wall. Once we get enough wood, we'll be able to just build a wooden wall around us temporarily. So zombies and stuff don't come in and kill us. You know, creepers and whatnot. Because um, that would really stink if that were to happen. Uh, so we'll do this. And actually, I'm going to have enough so I can make a pickaxe. And then I can also go ahead and it's going to do that. Let's also make ourselves a wooden sword for now. It is just going nuts with these fireworks because I'm uh, gaining levels and whatnot. I made a stone pickaxe. I meant to make a stone axe. Many of you are probably already commenting before that. Oh, he made a stone pickaxe. He said he was going to make it. I know. I did it. I fixed it. I fixed it. Okay. One, a two, a three. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's head up here. There's a creeper over there. I do want to be careful. If it blows up my chest, I'm going to be really annoyed because these are donated items. So I'm going to be semi-quick here about this. No, I don't want to see Witch's Cauldron. Just give me this. Give me this. Give me my axe. Let me go make my wood. Uh, we'll head out this way. See, the creeper is after me, which was what I was afraid of. So that's another advantage of this little lava pit here because I can hit the creeper into the lava. I just want to be careful on the back side here. I am good. Come here, Mr. Creeper. Come on. Come on. Come on, blow, either blow up here or let me hit you in the lava or something. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, you're, it was just lag. Okay. There we go. There we go. If he blows up in the lava, he won't damage anything. Uh, there is a mini zombie down there. I need to grab some food, however, uh, because I am getting hungry. So we'll grab this food. There is a creeper over there. Is that a creeper jockey or is that a creeper hat? I can't tell. Let's see. No, that's a creeper jockey. Oh, my God. I've never seen one of these before. What is this from? See, I knew that would work. It would blow up the the spider. That worked very well. Okay, so if we go over to this, that actually did a lot of damage. I do have to be a little careful here. In fact, let's go ahead and quickly... Oh, well, I'm showing off my coordinates, which is fine. I'm not staying here anyway. So waypoints. We'll just... Uh, new waypoint. Let's call it Temp Home. Because it's our temporary home. And we'll go over here. And we should be able to cut down this tree just by hitting one piece of wood. Yeah, it'll take longer... But it should only take one, like one swing. This one's not as good. I need, I need one with an actual like tree base. I guess none of the greatwood trees have bases. That's a little strange. Uh, but let's just, yeah. If we just go ahead and hit like one piece of wood, we should be fine. If I just hit this right here, there we go. I cut a huge portion of this tree down. Oh, oh, no, 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 baby zombie, please, baby zombie, please, baby zombie, please, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Where is he? Where did baby zombie go? Is he coming after me? I can't tell. Okay, let's avoid him for now. Let's just stick with this. I'm like so paranoid right now. I'm gonna hide in this corner. Oh, here he comes. He's coming. Hello. Are you coming to kill me? I'll keep eating food. <clears throat> Come on. Let's fight. Let's duke it out. A few hits to the baby zombie and I should have him dead. But he has armor. Oh! That's why I always check that stuff. That's why I always check that stuff. Okay, everyone. So, good news. We actually, uh, I just realized skin servers were not, when you die, like you turn into a Steve for some reason. Uh, cause it drops your head. My head's right here. I could put it on the wall if I really, or put it right there. There we go. Um, but yeah, so what we can do is, I did realize that a, uh, so after dying, by the way, after dying, I, uh, did a little pause, you know. Uh, built up these walls. Got the walls nice and set. Nothing should be able to get in for right now. Uh, I got about 38 more wood left after, well, plus building a few things. Got the sword and stuff. But I forgot, we need to open our lucky blocks. So we have a ton of these things. Now, they won't be coming in this much abundance normally, but because, you know, because we're cool and stuff, uh, we are going to open them up here. 
Uh, and I just realized it's night again when I'm doing this. Like it was day, it built up everything, got all the trees. It's night again. That's good. It's, it's oh, well, it's almost day. Um, but it's night again. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh. Oh. Hi, cats. I got some cats. Okay, I guess every evil wizard needs cats. Let's open them. One over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Please. Please not Bob. Please not Bob. Please not Bob. Okay, Bob can't get me if I'm in here, though, I believe, right? But he has thorns, so I do have to be careful. How can I kill Bob? He has thorns, so if I hit him, I take damage. Yeah, I took three hearts of damage. Difficult. Very difficult to kill Bob. Okay, first off, let's go get some food down here. Uh, there we go. Don't worry, Bob. You're not gonna kill me. Nor can I let you kill me, so... Um, hmm, how do I do this? Without risking blowing up my stuff. Because Bob is going to stalk me. Well, I mean, I'm faster than Bob, that's for sure. Um, so if I just run this way and hit him in the lava, maybe? Can't risk hitting him too much. But if I line him up right, I should be able to get him in the lava. He'll come around towards me once I get him on a straight angle. He's avoiding that lava. He'll stay two blocks away. Oh, if I use an axe, thorns doesn't work? I didn't know that. Let him burn to death. He'll get out of that, but he'll still be burning, and I can just hit him back in, right? How many hearts do you have, Bob? Oh, I, I'm low on hearts. Okay, gotta be careful here, but I think this should be a good way to beat Bob. Because he's gonna keep trying to swim towards me and keep burning himself, right? How much health yet? Come on, Bob, you're almost dead. Half a heart, come on. I got him. I beat him. I beat him. I beat him. He's dead. Bob's dead. Oh, I did it. Oh, thank God. Okay, so we beat Bob. Let's open another one. It's daytime. That's good. Okay. 32 arrows and a bow. One of the things I always seem to forget, I always seem to forget a key fact about lucky blocks. If you're using lucky blocks, they're gonna blow up. And they always do. They always blow up. And it's really driving me nuts. Okay, let's get over there again. Let's... Can we not, cats? Can we not? Can you, like, find a new spot to sit so I can break this? Need my items back. There we go. Got the lucky blocks. Got three more. Okay, cat sit, cat sit. Uh, cat sit, cat sit. There you go. Okay, let's go over here where the cats aren't, because I don't want to kill my cats. That'd be weird. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Block. I got a... Can't mind that yet. Let's go over here. What do we get? Back... <gasps> no, 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 Okay, okay, okay. We can get out of this. We can get out of this. We can get out of this. I can't get out of this. Okay. 50,000 times the charm, they say. Right? Totally. Now to get all the way back up there. Okay, so I think we're, like, halfway up right now. Are pretty much to the top. We gotta be getting close. Might have a ton of cobble. And we're back up for the last and final lucky block. Oh my god, I swear to god. Uh, mm, mm, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna burn to death, but at least I survived. Or kind of survived, I guess. <sighs> this has to be one of the most unlucky lucky block openings I've ever had. Not only did the lucky blocks totally murder me every single time, but like, I didn't stand a chance. Like, every single one was out to kill me. I've never had such unlucky lucky blocks. It's so bad. Okay, come here. I need to get up here. So sign, please go away. It said look up. I knew what to do, luckily, for that one. And sort of, so my items didn't burn. But I guess items don't burn in lava now. Because the things will, it'll catch your items or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just walk around. Try to get my items back. There we go. Got the sword. Got the cage. Got the pickaxe. All the lucky blocks are gone. We're done with those stupid lucky blocks. Thank God. Okay. And last but not least, everybody, that's the lucky blocks. Welcome to Area 33. Next episode, we're going to be getting back into the roleplay side of things. Thank God, because obviously the survival part of things aren't going too well right now.